Hello, you are watching my favorite YouTube channel. I am Chillmonger. Look at all these stars behind me. Look at these stars. Remember when there was like one of them and then two and then they just gradually grew as if my channel was progressing in stature, gaining more power, popularity. When will the next star come up? Will you even notice? Wait, what's the most recent change I've made to this wall? I don't know. Find out next time on Chillmonger Z. The Bad Batch. It's a show I've been watching. And after this week's episode, I had to ask myself the question of why is this? What's the point? What is the goal? Why is it on streaming? I don't think that Disney Plus, this is more commentary on Disney Plus than it is Bad Batch. But with the way that it went, it was kind of like slow. Things happened. Did a little side quest. Returned back to normal. Like the end of a Simpsons episode. Now they're, you know, not, not, not exactly like the end of a Simpsons episode. For, for the most part, it was a contained story. The week prior, they had this little race. It wasn't a... Uh, pod race it was a riot race so you could break the rules it's a little bit different but we kind of understood as soon as they announced this will be a race that the protagonist will play a part in it the episode will end when the race ends they'll win and yada yada at least we got some stuff towards the ending when dude was like hey watch out for sid so at least that part will carry over but all the suspense and drama was contained in the race and to me i i, kind of, I saw it coming and i'm like oh, okay well this is not a very valuable episode so two episodes in a row where we're kind of just like oh we're doing something doesn't really count doesn't really move things forward in the story i got to asking that's okay too right like in the olden days when we used to sit at the tv and watch like cartoons and stuff saturday mornings that we that was acceptable not everything moved everything along not every pokemon episode was when ash was facing a gym leader or he's catching a new pokemon or something that had like lasting effects on it sometimes he just talked to nurse joy about a sick growl with. Um, this thing should not be on Disney Plus. Releasing at 3 p.m. a.m. Excuse me, Eastern Standard. Some people on the Pacific Coast, you guys get to watch it at midnight. Maybe that's a little bit better of an experience. You know, it'd be even way better though. And what they should be doing is treating their streaming service the way that streaming servers were treated in 2013. It was the thing that that just held the library. So air your stuff on TV at a reasonable hour. This goes for The Mandalorian. Imagine if The Mandalorian was on ABC network or whatever country you're watching from on a network right at prime time. Imagine that. And then the hour that it finishes, because it's about 45 minutes of show, but the hour that it finishes, it is now available on Disney+. Plus. That way... Nobody can do this thing where they, at right when it releases at 3 o'clock in the morning or midnight, right when they skip all the way to the end of the video and the, you know, on, the, on the bar, and they get to see Luke Skywalker's there, and they get to tweet out the spoiler. No, release it on TV first. Have it live. Have it at a reasonable hour. You don't have to worry about bandwidth or whatever, the website crashing because too many people are watching, which is probably why they decided to do it at 3 a.m. But you get to receive the money from commercials that's how tv shows make money all of that to reap the cost of doing this thing and for the people who are disney plus subscribers who are separate there may not be that much crossover the streaming audience tends to be younger the television audience that's old people old people are not cutting their cords but everyone will get the benefit from it they get old folks get to watch that show get to be uh exposed to this new show and they should do that, at least for the first episode of Mandalorian. For the kids' shows, why not put this on the kids' channels that uh, would play this thing? That they probably where, where would it Rebels land? Disney XD? Put it on Disney XD. Put it on the family channel. Whatever way you want to get this across to new kids and you know make them fall in love with the franchise, do that. Don't hurt yourself by hiding it behind a paywall, which is uh, Disney+. Plus. And does that really hurt it? Is someone going to unsub from disney plus because it no we go to disney plus for the convenience of it we love that there's have these things these episodes that are just right there a click away and if we want to binge it we know we can binge it so the weekly releases is a wise choice i'd say i'd be more satisfied with two episodes imagine if we got both of these back to back it'd probably be better but and especially because the bad batch is about to cross over with the mandalorian beginning there's going to be like two or three weeks three weeks i believe where that have both of those things releasing on the same day. 
The Mandalorian will eat alive the Bad Batch episodes. And unfortunately, those are going to be the finale Bad Batch episodes. Those are like the high stakes ones, the ones that you don't want to be overshadowed. If you wanted a, a Bad Batch episode to be overshadowed, it would be this week and last week. But that's that's uh, that's just me giving suggestions. Disney, you guys are watching this? Lucasfilm, somebody, Filoni, Favreau, I'm here, I'm here to help. The point of these streaming services, the reason we fell in love with them, the reason we like binging, is because it was the place where shows were dumped. Netflix was the streaming service. Just had they dumped a whole season of something, series entirely, and you just became a fan of Lost or Prison Break, Heroes, Breaking Bad, and Walking Dead too. That's this. This is where I found these shows, and the streaming services are that they're the dump. So they'll always be the dump where you can just put all these amazing episodes and like like the Simpsons is just a dump of just we need to watch something now. Let's turn on the Simpsons. Simpsons is a very popular show on Disney Plus. I want to say it's the most popular. I want to cite my sources. I can't cite my sources, but I saw either Jason Ward or Star Wars Santa talking about it. But I but it's the most popular show that is on that Disney Plus service because it's just the dump. It's the video library. It doesn't matter that, that you're not watching the freshest content right when it hits live at 3 a.m. It's just the thing you do to put it on. That is the strength of the streaming service. So this week of Bad Batch got me thinking that. That's my take on Disney Plus. But that Mandalorian, bro, episode one, please. If they really want to broaden the audience or Andor. You really want people to watch things like you're putting Andor on Hulu and stuff. Don't just exclusively release it at a terrible time where you're going to get the least amount of social media buzz, which would attract new viewers. Instead, you do it at a reasonable hour for the Eastern time zone here in North America. I apologize to all of my UK, UK right? You probably watch it on ITV or BT, all right? In it, in it, in it, the channel you should watch it on. That's not, that's not the voice. I apologize to every foreigner from the land of England. I'm just going to end this broadcast just because of the way I did this. You don't deserve, I don't deserve your, your attention. I don't deserve the like that I was about to ask you for.